I completed the STP in one day this year after putting it off for years for fear of all the cycling traffic. Thousands of other riders were around me and I worried about crashing and getting injured. Not to mention me questioning whether I could ride that far in one day. A few friends encouraged me to give it a try and I said yes so I signed up with a little apprehension. As we stood at the start line before sunrise I was surrounded by hundreds of fellow cyclists including my friend Joe. I took many precautions, front light, backlight with radar, gloves, helmet, glasses, several century prep rides, but still I had some pre-ride jitters and apprehension. Unfortunately, I was the witness to several mishaps by several riders. My heart ached as I saw their misfortune. I hoped and prayed that they would not be injured too badly. These mishaps started early. Thank you. Have a great day. As a one-day rider, I was in the first wave to take off from the starting line. Just four minutes in, I heard the unmistakable sound of someone going down. I didn't have any idea why they crashed or how serious it was. I had my Insta360 camera running and it caught some video of a couple of these crashes, near crashes, and aftermaths. It was around four minutes into the ride, and if you look over my left shoulder you can see how the wide crack in the road claimed two victims. One saved it and was able to ride on, the other went down hard. I'm not sure if he went on or not, I hope he wasn't hurt too badly. This crack in the road was near a wide turn to the right at Northeast Pacific Street and Brooklyn Avenue Northeast. Hopefully it didn't claim too many victims. As it turned out, the large number of riders wasn't as big of a danger as I thought it would be. It was more the road conditions and watching out for road hazards. The wide cracks were a clear danger, but there were many railroad tracks to contend with as well. Especially going through the industrial area of Kent, we crossed several tracks. Fortunately, they were usually straight across the road so we could cross at a 90 degree angle. I'm still not sure what happened to this rider. He was sitting along the side of the road at the corner of 68th Avenue South and South 199th Place in the Pacific Gateway industrial area of Kent. He was being attended to with a bloody towel to his head. More prayers. I didn't see a railroad crossing nearby, so it wasn't clear how he crashed. That's one thing about this industrial area. Lots of railroad tracks. Chances for flat tires and accidents. There was one particularly treacherous railroad crossing further into the ride. I don't know the exact location, but it was out in the country, close to Midway. The tracks crossed the road diagonally, so it was hard to get a 90 degree angle. As we approached, there was an ambulance stationed there with its lights on. Someone was being attended to. More prayers. I share this video with you not as a spectacle, but to let you know there are risks out there at STP. You can usually ride clear of the many other riders, so unless you get too close, that is not too big of a danger. The key is to be very aware of the road conditions and surroundings and watch for warnings. You may notice on the crash early in the ride, the crack in the road is partly marked by some pink spray paint. A little hard to see at sunrise, but just watch carefully, especially if you've never ridden this route before. Stay tuned for a longer version of the whole ride available soon. Ride safe. Yeah. Contact is somebody. No, it's so I think maybe so got into a crack. Oh man. That's a bummer. Morning.